Not that long ago, I got myself a TicWatch Pro. Problem is, I got it for the Google Pay functionality. And Google Pay is locked out in many countries, which is really stupid because the Google Pay on the phone isn't locked out, but Google Pay on Wear OS is locked out. So I instantly decided to root the watch with Zhang Zhang's firmware, and I actually made a video about that um, a few months ago, which you can learn more about here, how to uh, custom ROM and root your watch. And honestly, it's working really well still. It's really fast. Just yesterday, Zhang Zhang released the, um, the newest firmware for it, which adds swap, actually. If you want me to make a video on how to add more swap, which um, makes your watch faster, kind of reacts like RAM to your watch, comment down in the description below. I'm happy to make that video. And that did speed up the watch, but didn't fix Google Pay until now. A fix has come out for Android Wear devices where you can force Google Pay to work in unsupported countries if you're on the H update because the Android H update ruined the Google Pay enabler app. Let me start off with a disclaimer. Your device does need to be rooted. It's really easy and doesn't take much time. And if you don't know how to do it, you can either look it up or you can comment down in the description. I can make an updated video tutorial on that. So without further ado, Let's begin. Okay, so XDA actually seems to be down right now, but just before we begin, I want to give credit to this user right here, because it wasn't me that thought of this, it was him. Uh, maybe he got it from someone else, but I'm getting it for him, so I want to give him credit. And um, also, there's another user I should be giving credit to, but because XDA is offline, I can't. It's the uh, user who created this, Oreo Pay for Pi Wear. It's the, um, this is the actual app that stops Google Pay from disabling itself constantly, which is uh, always fun because that's what it likes doing. Okay, so without further ado, we need to take off our watch. Uh, see, I don't actually have this done because I had to update to Zhang Zhan's newest firmware and that wiped the watch. So therefore my watch also has no Google Pay on it. Uh, I can prove that to you real fast. Actually, let me just grab the gimbal. My watch also has no Google Pay on it. As you can see, it is disabled because uh, I'm not in a supported country, of course. I'm in Ireland and it's not supported there for some reason. So let's begin. So what you want to do is when your watch is rooted, you have Magisk, you have everything you need. What you want to do to begin with is you want to power off your watch into recovery mode. So I'm going to hold this button. Of course, you could go into the ADB terminal and type in ADB reboot recovery, but this is the way I'm going to do it. There we go. Recovery mode. Okay. Now that the watch is in recovery mode, I have to allow modifications. So once you're in recovery, you want to click install, ADB sideload, or you can of course copy the zip to your watch and then install it from there. But we're gonna use ADB sideload. And then I have my dock right here. Place it on the dock. Now going back to the computer, you want to open your command prompt by clicking Windows and R. You want to type in CMD into that little run box that shows up. And then you want to type ADB, side load. And this is up here, which I will have in the description below. Enter. And now we wait. So now that that's done, that's actually all you need to do in recovery. So what you want to do is you want to click the little reboot system there. Uh, you can barely see that. Hopefully you can. So reboot system, do not install the TWRP app. And that's actually all you need to do in recovery. So we're done recovery now. So now that the watch is booted up, I have the instruction here from um, XDA. So what you want to do is you want to enable developer mode, but that should be enabled already if you have your watch rooted. And then you want to open the command prompt on your PC which we already have open right here. So that's the Windows and R and then type in CMD. And then what you want to do is ADB shell. And see now we're in the watch because it says catfish and sue, which stands for a super user. And that's going to ask for, it should ask you on the watch for super user rights, basically for root from Magisk, but I set it to grant super user to everything. So it should just grant super user. And it shouldn't have an issue with that. 
So as you can see, it's granted super user because now we have a hashtag little there, a little hashtag there. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to grab this code here. I will have these down in the description below, or I will have a link to this user's thread. So what you want to do is you want to copy that right there. So now the databases file has been copied to the watches storage. This is the file that we're going to need to edit. So now that that's been copied. Okay. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to type exit and then exit again. And now you want to pull that file off of the watch into wherever you want. So I'm going to copy it to the desktop. So I'm going to copy it to the desktop and then you want to put in this command and now it's on the desktop. See it right there? That's where it is. Okay. Down in the description below, I will also have a link to SQLite tools because I could not find that anywhere. And then you want to type CD and drag that SQLite folder into your um, command prompt. And what you want to do then, copy this SQLite exe dgdb. But I'm actually going to delete that DGDB because that DGDB is if this was in that folder. So I'm just going to drag mine into here, press enter. And once you get this, you know you're in. So you copy this line of code, which will change all the lines with a test to zero. Boom, like that. That's done. So that's now been updated. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to, oh, once you're done that, that's that part done. So what you want to do is you just want to open another command prompt and you want to push the file back to your watch. So I'm going to grab ADB push here, right there. And what you want to do is you want to again, delete that part and drag your file back into here. So once you're done with that, you want to type ADB shell again, and then sudo. And you want to copy that file back into the databases. So dg.db. I will have these um, these commands here fixed for you guys down in the description. So this is actually the most important part because what you're doing now is you're making the file read only. So Google Pay will not be able to write to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that right now. Now that you've done that, you want to type exit and then exit again. And now you are going to need to and now you're going to need to flash this APK here. So ADB install and copy this APK like that, drag it into that CMD window and we wait. Great success. So now we go back to our watch. And so now on our watch, you should be able to see that there is a new app called root pay enabler. I'm probably just going to make it on this button here. When I press this button, this app opens. So we wait for this app to open. And this app's going to enable Google Pay right there. So Google Pay is already launched. That's further than you'd normally get on a location locked one. So screen lock needed. And now Google Pay should actually allow us to add a card. So I need to switch to my phone now. So now, as you can see, it's asking me to add cards, which I will. So I'm going to click my card here. And normally here, it would kick you out saying that your watch is rooted. And it didn't. So that didn't kick you. I'm going to finish the setting this up and I'll be right back to you. Okay, so now I've got that set up. And as you can see on my watch, it is giving me the tutorial on how to pay. And that's my card there. And as you can see, it works. And I can just set the app to launch on this. So what you want to do is every time you want to use Google Pay, you want to launch it with this app. So that's there. And boom. Google Pay on a location locked device. That's it. It might look complicated when you're looking at all the code hands down, but it's as simple as just following the steps. It really isn't that hard, but I decided to make this tutorial because I know some people might not find this. Not everyone has a TickWatch Pro, but a lot of people have rooted smartwatches. So yeah, so if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or want help, comment down in the description below. I will do my best to help you. And yeah. Peace.
think she had Josh or Jean. Ew. Hello.